Hi, this is Mark from Sparky Sense. Now what I have here is an Alpha Juno 2 and the answer to a replacement for the PG300 controller. Now, how have I done this? I've done it using a standard easy control MIDI controller. Now, how have I done this? So basically, the easy control MIDI controller is configured with a lot of various continuous controller commands. Those continuous controller settings are sent to a Raspberry Pi, which I have here. Raspberry Pi is running an open source application called Controller. Um, and the panel that it's running is actually a previous panel created by two uh, programmers called Laser and Bomber. And I have taken that panel, modified it, and um, then I'm using it for this particular application. So the controller sends a CC, various CCs, to the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi, using the controller application, then converts those CCs into the relevant system exclusive messages for the Alpha Juno. And the Alpha Juno is plugged into the Raspberry Pi using a USB to MIDI controller. Not only does this happen, but also the um, controller updates the particular parameter on the display. So, I mean, the Raspberry Pi has got an HDMI output, so I use that, and currently I'm using it on a large display, but the intention is to actually use it on a smaller display, like this one here, and then we would place the, um, the controller on here, and it's magnetic, so connects to the Alpha Juno using magnets. Uh, just like the PG300 would and this can either sit here or it can have a magnetic connection if required or it could be plugged into a larger screen. So if I just take the HDMI, HDMI plug from the larger screen and plug into a small screen and I'll just try and zoom in on this And you can see that the small screen is showing, displaying the uh, equivalent of the PG300 controller. So I thought it was important to have a display because one, there's only 18 parameters configurable on the easy control, but it has banks of parameters, four banks, so that does multiply that. So it wasn't possible to label the, uh, the easy control and also um, this is a better way of displaying the, the PG300 as it would be, pretty much. So, now I'm going to do a demo of this. Now, in order to do the demo, I'm going to plug it back into the large screen so, for the purpose of the camera, we can see what's going on. Now, I'm sure you've all had the same problem as I've had with trying to plug a HDMI connector in without being able to see the actual socket. It's a bloody nightmare. Oh, ah, there you go. So, here we go. We have the uh, display on the screen. Just check that we can see that properly. Now, I may stand slightly in the way on occasion. That's just a uh, side effect of, of my setup. Okay, a nice uh, side effect of uh, this particular application is that when you change the banks on the uh, Alpha Juno, or in fact when you change any individual setting, I will show that in a bit, then the screen is updated to the latest setting. Also, uh, this particular panel came with a very nice display of the envelope, uh, which uh, does make altering the envelope a little a little nicer so I will choose a nice patch fat synth oh, what more can you want so fat synth is the patch chosen and uh, 
I will just go through a few sounds. So I can play around with the uh, the envelope. First of all, I, I just like to mention that so the top row of uh, parameters is basically mapped out to the top row of knobs on the uh, on the controller and the bottom row the envelope generator is mapped out to the sliders now for the next two rows we just click bank b um, i have labeled bank one and bank two on here just to show the easy control uh, what the easy control led should be to select that particular bank and uh, then the bank two will allow us to change the settings on uh, the bottom half. So again, the uh, top row of knobs uh, is the same as the top row of knobs on there, and bottom row of knobs goes across to the the bottom row there. All apart from the uh, chorus on off switch, which is done using the button under the chorus rate. So the chorus rate slide is here, and uh, we press the button off on so it's just a toggle button which is it off and on so so uh okay so i'll reset again i'll reset fat synth so everything is as it was and uh make a few changes so again bank one is now required so i'll play with the oscillators a bit Turn the uh, the sub up. I've managed to fix the aftertouch on this alpha tuner because most alpha tuners do have a aftertouch issue with the many years of use, but uh, I've managed to get a replacement for this one uh, from a Roland D70, and it works absolutely amazing. Okay, so go through the various sorties. Pulse waves. PWM. And then a few sub options. The noise. range so vibrato add the envelope play around a little bit with the envelope See the display is uh, updated live as we change the settings. <laughs> 